this video, I'm knitting the Stripe Overload Polo. This is my first like backstage project. So the entirety of this video is going to be me knitting backstage. Enjoy the montage of the process. Um, yeah, so, all right, here we go. Let's knit the sweater now. And I will see you after it's finished.
course I dropped a stitch doing that. What did you think of that montage? I think it was pretty fun to make the entire video like sitting in the same spot and you can really see like how it grows, especially with a top down sweater where I started from the top of the collar and I knit all the way down and made the body. I really love knitting like that. I think it's like one of the most efficient ways to make something. All the yarn that I used for this sweater was from the consignment yarn store in the Bay Area. I spent about a hundred dollars on yarn, which was pretty good because I got like five balls. No, no, I got like, like 12 balls total of like various things but that's I mean a hundred dollars for 12 balls of yarn is pretty good I'm in my black clothes and I'm ready to go to the theater <laughs> like I'm gonna leave in like 10 minutes here it is It turned out pretty well. It does fit very well. So I've heard people say that when they knit the first sleeve, the first sleeve is the worst, the second sleeve is the best because they like know what they're doing at that point. Um, and I can totally relate to that usually, but not for this project because for this project, I did the first sleeve like very well. I was reading the pattern. I was following the instructions. This is my first sleeve pretty nice yesterday i was like i had been like knitting just sleeves and i was uh, kind of over it and i was like on autopilot yesterday knitting okay well actually not yesterday the first day that i started knitting this i messed up 
here I did three rows of green and I was like oh whatever I cannot go back like I had I didn't even notice until I was like a few rows away and then later on I did this one row of purple I was like what the hell is wrong with me and it's probably because I'm also watching a monitor that's playing that's showing the play as it happens and I am waiting for my cues so I can go and like assist the actors. I was doing so well and then that happened and then yesterday I was like in between shows taking a break and I was like oh yeah I totally know like how to finish this sleep like I already did one I can totally finish the next one and why did I do two by two rib like what was I thinking literally everything else is in one by one rib and I just like automatically did two by two while I was doing two by two I was like I got to the end of the first round and I was like huh I must have decreased too many stitches during my sleeve decreases because the stitch pattern doesn't add up and it didn't add up because I was doing two by two and I didn't even notice until I started to do my like two rows to get ready for Italian bind off and I was like I can't, I can't like maybe one day I'll go back and I'll redo this in one by one but like I could not yesterday I just needed to finish this <laughs> like I yeah everything else I think looks great and I don't even think it's that noticeable I don't know that it even bothers me that much I've literally never done a project that didn't have some like silly little mistake like that so I think it's like pretty on brand at this point that we have two incorrect stripes and an incorrect rib pattern but other than that this pattern was very easy to follow a uh, good introduction to german short rows which you do around the neck i'm so excited i'm so happy that this is done i've never knit a sweater in this gauge like so fast like it definitely took many many days but since i was knitting like all day for like two weeks it went fairly quickly <laughs> i do have to go to the theater now <laughs> and I will put this on and show you what it looks like on with a cute little outfit when I go to take pictures or something tomorrow. <laughs> One last look at my sweater. It looks pretty great. I kind of wish I had made it like two sizes bigger so it was like very oversized because I definitely love like oversized clothes. But if it's very well, if it's like probably perfectly, which is um, not my ideal fit, but that's okay because I'm very happy with it. And I'm definitely gonna wear it a lot. And I have a little bit of scrap yarn left. It's right there on my table, my messy ass table. This is all the yarn that I have left. And I'm going to try to make a little matching top with this yarn. I think we can definitely do it. That's what I'm gonna do next. I think it'd be super cute to do this with a matching tank top similar to what I did with my gambit jumper I finished my gambit jumper and then I had a bunch of leftover yarn and I made um, this top not this one I made this pattern which is the Soho crop by NYC knits and I made that out of all of the scrap yarn from my gambit jumper I'm gonna do that with this too because I love a matching set like a twin set that's the plan thanks so much for watching this video I hope it was uh, I hope it was fun to watch <laughs> that's all I can hope for if you made it all the way to the end of this video leave me this emoji in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and um, yeah. Okay, bye!